Hello, my name's Emma and welcome to the Free From Farmhouse. I write all about family, food and allergy free adventures. I've got two young children with multiple food allergies, so I spend a lot of time trying to recreate our favourite recipes in a way that's safe for them, but also in a way that's fun and is something that all kids can enjoy, whether they've got allergies or not. So today I'm going to make one of the most popular recipes of my blog and that's No Nuts Nutella. Now this is great firstly because it's nut free um, and secondly because it's also dairy free. But beyond that it's really easy, it's really delicious and it tastes very much like the real thing. The main ingredient in this recipe is sunflower seed butter. Now you've probably never heard of it, I'd never heard of it before I had a child with nut allergies, but it's really great stuff. It's very healthy and it's quite easy to get hold of. You can pick this one up in Holland and Barrett, but there are others out there as well. So all you need is 30 grams of cocoa powder, 50 grams of icing sugar, 120 grams of the sunflower seed butter and around 100 ml of dairy free milk. Now all you need to do is scoop the sunflower seed butter into a bowl. Try not to have one that's too shallow because when you're mixing the cocoa powder and the icing sugar in they do have a tendency to splatter everywhere. So just sprinkle in the cocoa powder and add the icing sugar. You can already see the dust cloud coming up off of that. So gently, and I mean gently, blend them together. If you get a little bit too enthusiastic, it does start spraying everywhere. So I'm making a big effort here not to splatter it all over myself. So just blend it in. Now, this spread works really well if you want to use it as a substitute for Nutella. So if you want to put it in sandwiches or if you want to put it um, on toast, it's great. The <laughs> first time um, me and Jay made it, we actually just sat there and ate it with our fingers out the bowl because it was so good. So once that started to blend in a little bit, you can then start to add your milk. So just add your milk a little bit at a time because again, it does have a tendency to splatter everywhere and mix that in. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more milk, I think, to make it a little bit looser because I want to eat it with these strawberries over here. And there you go, it's that easy. You've got a lovely no nuts Nutella, nut free and dairy free spread ready to eat. So all that's left to do really is take a nice strawberry, dip it in and enjoy. Mm -hmm.